Hey guys, welcome back to Voxel Gaming, and today I'm going to do something from the comments. So I saw some of you talking about the dark room and the milk generator, and I, you know, I thought the milk generator was kind of boring at start, but then I saw what it did, and I just had to do it. It's it's so nice. It's cruel. <laughs> so I'm going to do that this episode. Uh, first of all, though, I just want to show you my my new quarry. It's it's kind of big because I had to keep replacing it. So I thought, hey. Let's just uh, let's just do this massive area. It's gonna take a while. And apart from that, I did also. Why, there's a cow on my roof. Get out. Apart from that, I also made the um, get out of my plants. The cobblestone generator. I made it a little bit bigger. Just a little big bit. And you can hear it already. Look at that. Now, I had to make these condensers here um, because I tied them all up to the same system all the way up to the same condenser but it was just making so much cobblestone I had to, I had to have multiple condensers and the lag was absolutely horrible <laughs> like my frames dropped from about 160 to about 70 and it was well, not recording so you know I've got this set up now it's making diamonds down here pumping them up to the solder facility upstairs and that looks amazing, doesn't it? Got some glass covers here to stop all the particles and stuff. Uh, the noise is still, you know, sort of there, so um, it's probably annoying you, so let's turn it off. Oh, God. It's beautiful, this silence. So, yeah, I built this uh, this new room in the middle, and I've got a cow in here, too, even. Uh, if you want to see how I did that, <laughs> I, I am going to upload an outtakes video. Because this took me a while. Because uh, apparently cows do not go downstairs. Who knew? <laughs> so I actually had to dig down. But um, just watch that video. <laughs> uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to build a milking machine. So we're pretty much going to milk these cows for all they have. And then we're going to condense that milk into empty buckets. And then milk them again automatically, etc, etc. And the trick here is that a milk... Uh, some milk... I think it shows it in here. So let's say milk gives you 849 EMC whilst a normal bucket gives you 700 so if we condense a milk bucket into a normal bucket again we keep a little bit of extra EMC and then that makes diamonds rather quickly as well I tested this on creative and it was pretty cool so I thought hey why not let's let's do that uh, so first of all we need to set up an area where the cow is going to be located in oh, jetpack jetpack and so, uh, and then we have to sort of force the cow to get in here, which is, uh, you know, that's going to be interesting. Ah, oh, before I start, you're going to need deployers for this. Now, a deployer, you put something in it, and when it gets a redstone signal, it tries to put it in front of it. So, and you can also use it with a, an, an empty bucket. If there's a cow, it'll try to milk the cow. So, it's pretty handy. Uh, so we can't do this actually because we have to get the cow in first. Now on top of those we're going to put some filters. Oh. <laughs> there we go. <sighs> my wheat. Where's my wheat? Is my wheat here somewhere? I had one. Yeah. So that's going to be a nightmare again, isn't it? I just need one of you, okay? Try to be orderly about it. Get out. It, come on. Yep, no, no, not you. Not you. No, no. Good, good. Now, I'm going to try and get you in. Yes, yes, very nice, very nice. Come on. Can I push him? <laughs> oh, yeah. Perfect. Phew. Where's my de last deployer? There we go. Uh, you can use the screwdriver as with all other um, red power stuff. Uh, like so. And then we have to destroy this. Put a filter there. Turn those around as well. Like so. Easy. Now we can remove these. 
So what's going to happen is, as soon as an empty bucket comes in here, it milks this cow in the middle, and it'll put a milk bucket in here. And then these filters are going to pull those milk out into a condenser. Uh, so we also need one for the bottom. So I saw this design somewhere else, although it didn't have this bottom one. So I modified it a little bit to be a little bit more efficient. Because I like efficiency. Cool, that's the basic. Did I make enough... Uh, did I keep enough room for myself? Yeah, probably. Cool. So you also need a load of redstone tubes. And I think we might set up... Hmm. We might have to get a few buckets. And a load of diamonds to get us started. <coughs> so let's do that. Uh, where's my crafting bench? Um. Okay. <laughs> Weird. Let's make two. Toot, 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 toot. Bench again. Cool. Now I'm, I'm gonna assume that you all know how to make an iron bucket. But in case you don't. That's how. Now we need, like, literally, let's delete all this. Oh. <sighs> how annoying. Cool. Doot -doot -doot. Doot. And let's set up a condenser as well here. We're going to have to move this later on, but for now, that's okay. So let's make a. Uh, how many buckets is that? Yeah. That's enough for now. Uh, now, milk, and we just, uh, toot toot, toot toot, I might as well put milk in the, in the um, filters already. So as far as I know, you can just keep milking the cow and it doesn't actually, that's how it works. So this cow is sort of an endless supply of milk for some reason. Uh, so in all these filters that are attached to the deployers, we put milk buckets, or just milk as it's called. There you go. And one more in the bottom. And on all the deployers, we put empty buckets. Like so. Cool. Now. Ow. Keep forgetting I can die still. Um, now, we need to set it all up somehow. Uh, so let's get started. So if you do not want to have the deployer in the bottom, it makes this a lot easier. Because uh, you don't have to get this pipe up. But, you know, why not? It makes it more interesting. It's going to look more more ugly as well, but, you know, we'll deal with it. So we connect all these together, we put our energy condenser there, plop, and maybe this one we can just, uh, just like that. So as soon as a milk bucket gets in a, in any of these deployers, the filters are going to push them out, uh, pull them out into this condenser. Now this condenser needs to be making buckets, empty buckets. Now we're going to get the rest of our filters, and we're going to need, again, five of them. Like so. Oh, my screwdriver is almost dead. Hmm. Oop. Ow. That works. It's much safer. Is that it? Oh, this one. I'm a bit uh, close to the roof. Actually, that might be... A no, no, it's not a problem. Not a problem. Now, these need to feed back to the deployers, because... Oh, not, not like that. And all these ones need to contain empty buckets as well, and I don't have out anymore. Uh, we might have to condense a few more. No, that should be enough. Cool. <coughs> Ow. One. 
Should be five, two, three, four. Now, I think you can make this with six by putting one on top as well, but... Actually, no, you can't. There's, I don't think there's any way to do that. Is that all? Yep, 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 cool. Now, these pipes need to go to all the deployers because this condenser in the middle here is going to keep making empty buckets and they have to go into the deployers. So, uh, we're going to need something else. We need covers because else the cables are connect. Do I have covers? I should have lots of them. No? Really? That's weird. Where's my bone saw? Uh, I don't need that many, to be honest. That should be plenty. Actually, I might need a lot, but that's 16. That, yeah, that's good. That's enough. Um... Ow. Now let's see if I can remember how I did this last time. <laughs> uh, yep, so I think I went like, uh, like that. And then out. And I'll just put a cover here. And here because else the, the milk buckets and the empty buckets will sort of connect to each other. And they go into the wrong ones. I can't reach that. It's too high. Ding, ding. And uh, this one doesn't have to go that far out. Cool. Toot, toot. So that filter is going to pull out empty buckets and chuck it into this deployer. Now that's the hard one done because that has all the weird cables. So the rest should be easier. So this one we go two out to this side. At least that's how I do it. I find it the, the nicest way. Not the easiest, but the nicest. Oh. Is there zombies around here? Oh, maybe in here? No, there's a torch. So we have that deployer set up. Uh, now we have to get this deployer set up. Or again, two out to the side. And then up. Come on. I might need some more tubes as well. Ow. And this one again. That's a bit of a pain to make, but it is much cheaper than the energy collectors, and it's actually better as well. Although the Mark III might be the same, but... Cool, so we've got all of them set up except for the bottom one, and that's sort of my own addition to this whole thing. So maybe, um... I don't think there's an ideal out way of doing this, but um... It doesn't have to look pretty. I mean, we're, we're just going to be milking cows. That's that's not a pretty business anyways. Uh, come on. Actually, that works pretty well. Oh, that doesn't do. Can't be connected to that. And not to that either. Can I maybe go this way? Oh. Wow, that looks actually quite impressive, doesn't it? Okay, so... Did we get this right? I feel like I'm missing something. The cables seem much easier than I, when I did them in creative. But that might just move me. Now, the last thing we also need to do is provide a way... Um, so as you can see that... This condenser will eventually get full because the milk will make it more EMC than the empty bucket. So this will slowly get full. Uh, and we'll just speed that process up like that. Easy. <laughs> There's actually a lot of EMC left in there, but that's okay. And then we want to have 
if it doesn't fit in there, we want to have it overflow into another um, condenser, which is that one, that will make diamonds for us. Uh, so where should we put that one? Maybe, maybe, let's pull it out first. Oh good, covers, lots of covers needed. Can I do it from here? Yes. Is that right? Nope. Here as well. Oh, that looks fabulous. <laughs> I might make it look a bit nicer at some stage in the future. Or maybe not, actually. I'm easy with that stuff. Sometimes. So I put a condenser down again. And this condenser will be making, what do you reckon, diamonds. Easy. And then eventually we'll pump these diamonds out, and I think there's a, is there a cable here somewhere? There. So we'll just pump these in there. Up, and done. So now the only thing left is to put a timer on it. And uh, let's, uh, bye. And connect it so that the timer does everything. So that's why we have these jacket wires. But let's put the timer down first. With a lever so we can stop it. Like, so like in all my other rooms. I don't think I'll actually stop it much. But hey, why not? Uh, let's see. Where do we want to put the timer? I'd like it to be hidden somewhere. But at the same time, it might be too much hassle. Actually, yeah, I, I can hide it. I think. Hmm. Let's uh, let's break that. Make that a redstone tube, and then we can hide it down behind here, I think, or here maybe. Nope, here because oh, that's nice. Thank you. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Always have to be a little bit careful because I want to put a lever on it. So if I put a lever here, I'll just show you. Then it will activate this redstone as well forever and, and the timer won't run anymore. So we're going to have to put the timer on the lever on here. Uh, so like that. And back here will be the timer. Uh, like that. Yeah, that sound looks good. Although, maybe it should be focused. Yeah, that way. Uh, can it be that way? Let's try. Oh. I think so. Uh, no, that's pretty dumb, actually. I need a torch as well. Torch, please. Whoosh. Have a torch in here. Yes. Nice. Still see my quarry running. There. Off. Perfect. Now I have some wires, so that's good. Can close this off. Um, like so. Where should we pump it out of? It should logically be behind it, shouldn't it? So maybe put a filter here. And then point it that way. Uh, make sure it only does diamonds. Because all the rest, all the milk buckets need to stay in there. And then we could possibly even make it easier than before. So we can hook this up like that. Uh, we can remove this. Did I just... Uh, doesn't matter. Nope, there it is. Hook that up normally again, 
and we just need to somehow f give this some current as well which is pretty easy we could do it like that that'll work put a cover on it it'll be a bit ugly maybe but whatever cool uh, where's my wire Plonk. and another jacket it thingy doink close it off let's turn it on does that work oh really does that work yes so we'll keep it on actually we'll keep it off so now we have to make sure that this power uh, in this tube goes to every single one so it definitely already goes and connects to this which connects to all these fillers and all the fillers pretty much so now we need to connect it to all the deployers as well so that's why we use these jacket cables again and uh, I think we just have to do them one by one so this filler needs to connect Uh, maybe here. Be, be, be a little bit ugly, but um, that's one. That's that the deployer from this. Now, where's the? Cool. So I think if I just connect these two together, this one will be done as well, and then if I connect these two together that will be done as well and these two together will be done as well is that right? does that fire everything? oh stuff is moving does that fire them all? did I miss this one? I think I missed this one I did okay oh that's a bit uh, it's a little bit ugly but that is working so now all we need to do is uh, increase the timer and I, I put it at you can put it faster but I put it at about 9 or 0.8 just because that's fast enough and sometimes it sort of blocks up and all the, the whole filler gets full for example so now slowly whilst this um, ow, condenser is oh, what a pain is filling up which will take a little while so you can see very slowly it's adding so let's dump uh, another 8 diamonds in there now it's full and it'll stay full all the excess milk is going into this condenser being made into diamonds and it's actually pretty fast look at that there we go look at that and it looks amazing, doesn't it? All this milk flowing around. You can make it a lot faster, but this is pretty fast. Look at it. But, you know, <laughs> let's try it anyways. Uh, so I think I tried it faster than this, but my fillers were starting to fill up. Uh, my filters, sorry, with weird stuff. Uh, although that seems to work still. Though probably the condenser needs some. Anytime you change the speed, the condenser needs to sort of get on track again. So it can help it along a bit again. Easy. Now, it's not going to keep doing it at that speed, but. Yeah. Now we're making diamonds. We've got this, we've got a cobblestone generator. Turn that on as well. And now we should see some serious diamonds flowing. That's one. See how long it takes. Another one. So is that 10 seconds maybe? Every 10 seconds? Maybe a bit longer sometimes. Hey, that's much longer than 10 seconds. I think the um, the um, K 
cow machine takes about 15 to 20 minutes before it really starts um, not messing up and these fillers sometimes go completely wrong but they, they seem to uh, they seem to be doing well yeah cool so I might make another one of this uh, maybe another two you know, um, just to avoid energy collectors. I know it's kind of it's kind of stupid, but I just feel like this is uh, much more fun than the other. So look at that, thirteen. I took all diamonds. It's thirteen diamonds already. Uh, also, because my quarry is working. Let's uh, before we leave, let's have a quick look at that. Look at look at a massive excavation site here. But it still has quite a while to go. Oh, hello. Do you want to maybe, um, die? Doink, doink. Thank you. Whoosh. Now, this is all going to have to be dug out as well because it's such a massive area. It's going to take like hours and hours and hours. Um, but that's good. That's very good. Alright, guys, welcome back to this series and, um, Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode.